Hey everybody, I'm Ben. And I'm Lana. Today we're going to talk about... Seven things you should know before moving to Franklin. And starting off in no particular order is number seven. This is about the locals. What about our locals? Well, they're always friendly to you and always ready to wave and ask you how are you and where are you from. That's right. So don't think that they're just being nosy. The people around here actually do care and they just want to say hey and see how you're doing. We care about our community and we want to make sure that everybody that is here is taken care of. Indubitably. Coming in number six is the great outdoors. We have a, a bunch of different terrains and stuff. We have grass. We do have grass. So come on folks, touch grass. Don't be inside. <laughs> What can you do uh, in Franklin? It's really fun to hike, to camp, um, just go for a walk. Like, it's really nice. You think the air is clean here? Yes, it is. Cl it's cleaner than, yeah, it's very clean. What about the water? Is the water clean? <laughs> I mean, clean enough for you to drink, but I don't suggest it. Full of germs, guys. Don't drink water. Drink I don't know alcohol. <laughs> Visit a local brewery today. <laughs> All right, some of those great places outside include the rivers, woods, Nana. Appalachian Trail, Lake Chattoo, Lake Wimble, the Nantahala Lake, the Nantahala River. Great for trout fishing. It's on the top list for United States, even for places to come and fish. One second, I gotta take notes on this. Trails, like Lana said, there's so many trails around here. Short trails, long trails, trails of views, trails of woods, trails that never end. We get it, there's trails. That's right, there's lots of trails. And waterfalls, lots of waterfalls, Ooh, yeah, guys. don't forget the waterfalls. You can see all kind of waterfalls. Small waterfalls, big okay, waterfalls. Okay, there's waterfalls. <laughs> we got it. Moving there's on waterfalls. to number five. We have seasons. Four seasons, to be exact. Everyone has four seasons. Not everybody has four seasons, like we have four seasons. First season is... Winter. If you've ever visited Franklin before, you may have come in spring or fall and seen the, all the leaves on the trees or seen the green leaves on the trees during the spring and summer. The winter time, it is naked outside. Ah! We have people that actually move out of our area to go back to Florida and other places where it's warm during the winter because they just don't want to hack the cold. Like my grandma. <laughs> She's not lying. Well, the winter time is very fun because you can see a lot of things that you ordinarily can't see when all the leaves are on the trees. It does make a drastic difference. You can see views. You may have stayed in a house here before where you couldn't see through the woods and uh, you go to that same house during the winter time and you may can see other mountains and mountain ranges from there. So it's pretty fun. But oh, guys, one thing you cannot see apparently in Franklin is snow because we haven't gotten no snow. You can like drive 30 minutes away and you'll see snow or maybe even an hour, it's probably an hour, I don't know. But apparently we ain't got no snow here. Okay, that's all I have to say. And after winter, we have spring. A dime. Springtime warms up. We start getting a little more traffic here locally. People are out and about getting outdoors and doing their little house projects and it can be a fun time. And then we move on to summer! Summertime, school's out, we love it. We like to get out and do stuff. We actually do swimming in our household, which is a lot of fun. There's summer swimming. You can go and there's a butt ton of lakes open and just playing in the rivers if you got one outside by your house. That's right. There's lots of access points to the river. You can get in and kayak, tube, um, canoe. You can go to the lake, rent boats. Fish. Uh, yep, fishing, hunting. Sunscreen. Which brings us to point number four, Franklin has tourists. Fourth of July, we have a big fireworks event here in Franklin, and a lot of people come in for that, and that just keeps on trucking with our tourism and visitors Bam! all the way into fall. Fireworks. Oh, you got me. So yep, fall time, Franklin. Tell us about it. Goodness gracious, guys. Fall time, in my opinion, is, is the most trafficy time. Everyone's coming down. Those leaf peepers are coming and they want to see the leaves on the mountains. That's right. And goodness gracious, guys, you don't all have to come at once. Space out your visits for Pete's sakes. Anyway, it's hard to do. People are renting Airbnbs, coming to hotels, coming to their second vacation homes and seeing the area. And it's always a little bit of a mystery to when the leaves are going to look the prettiest. All depends on rain, time of year, dryness, all that good stuff. 
yeah, like if there's no rain, no point in coming. They're, not, they're just all gonna be brown. It does make it busy for us locals, and we get over it. It is not your typical Miami, Charlotte, Atlanta, New York City. It is nothing like that. But for us local guys and girls, it yeah. makes the day a little bit longer. It makes the wait in restaurants a bit longer as well. If you go out to eat, uh, doing that thing, hitting the grocery stores and everything like that. Which brings us to point number three. Yes, sir. Would you like to elaborate on that? Yes. The demographic of Franklin. We're going to look at the county demographics because Franklin is so small. In Macon County, we have a little over 38,000 people, uh, residents, and... 29% uh, of the population is retirement age. Which is 65 and older. So if you're like-minded and want to just relax and chill out, it's a perfectly awesome place to do that. And we have one more thing about point number three. And that is the race demographic if you're interested in that for our county. Uh, we are different than all other areas and you can take a look at that on the screen. Number two! Number two things you should know before moving to Franklin, North Carolina is we do not have big shopping centers, we do not have malls, we are a small town. If you're a big shopper, you might want to consider doing online shopping. We have some great UPS drivers out there that rock their routes like a dang tween playing Fortnite. It's amazing. And they get stuff here fast. And you can also find some great deals and shopping experiences here in the local town, at some small business, which is great. But for your reference, Franklin currently has two large Ingalls grocery stores, Aldi, and a food line. We've got Walmart, Lowe's, Harbor Freight, Ace Hardware, and Dollar General. Goodness gracious, guys. Not even messing with you. The amount of Dollar General that we have. Insane. Just insane. Mind blowing. There are a lot of other great local businesses here, too. We'll highlight those in another video and you can check them out. Um, they definitely help keep our community running and great people make up a great community. So we like to support them. If you are a big shopper, you're looking at probably an hour to two hours away. Um, we go to Gainesville, Georgia and Asheville for quick stuff that we need. If you're looking for a Sam's or a Costco, something like that, you're going to have to go at least that far. Ooh, at least, guys. Um, Charlotte and Atlanta, you're looking at two and a half, three hours, depending on what part of those cities you're going to. You can hit Chattanooga, Knoxville, Greenville, South Carolina somewhere in about two, two and a half hour range as well. So we're good centrally located, but if you're looking for the big city experience, uh, you're gonna have to drive a little bit, but that's what makes our area unique, unique as well. Number one, and things you should know before moving to. Franklin? Franklin? Papa! <laughs> Papa! Franklin, North Carolina. Franklin, Franklin, where are you? So, Franklin! number one is, Food. Your worst nightmare! We all love food. It's your worst nightmare! We like to eat food. It's your worst nightmare! We don't have everything you've ever ate at. There's no Olive Garden here. There's no road Roadhouse. <laughs> Why? We need the Garden of Olives. <laughs> and don't even get me started about the Western Sizzling. That thing's been gone for years. What's a Western Sizzling? Exactly. It's a steakhouse. <laughs> well, we need a Texas Roadhouse and an Olive Garden, guys. Yeah, but we don't have one. Well, we need one. And here's some of the stuff that we do And have. a Dairy Queen. We need a Dairy Queen. Here's some of the things that we do have in Franklin. It's like you're not even hearing me when I say <laughs> we need a Dairy Queen. Guys, take a look at what we have to offer to you. We've got Pizza Hut. Domino's. Papa John's. McDonald's. Taco Bell. Arby's. Zaxby's. Wendy's. Shoney's. Hardee's. Cookout. KFC. Captain D's. <laughs> Burger King, <laughs> Sonic, Hot Wheels, Chick Fil A, Subway, Jersey Mike's, Starbies, Dunkin' Donuts, Bojangles. In addition to those, we've got some really good local food. Everything from barbecue to Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> I like added some Italian in there. <laughs> yeah, man, it's amazing the Mexican food. In addition to those food chains that we all know and love. We have some amazing local food that you're gonna have to try when you come down here yourself. And we'll feature that in another video and it's gonna be amazing. Yes, so don't forget, 
like and subscribe subscribe down there it has the word subscribe the like is also good it's a thumbs up don't hit the thumbs down thumbs down is bad yep thanks for watching and i'm ben i'm lana see you later peace i got thrown